All right, so here we have everything up and running. Got the computer up and running. We're gonna do some benchmarking with uh, air cooling. I'm not going on a liquid cooling just yet. So, motherboard, video card, and uh, I took out the little cable wrappings that it had before, and I put a heat wrap or heat shrink. And this is gonna be the display. I accidentally broke one. But uh, power on, reset, and this is going to be for all the lights. And the uh, top ring is on when there's power. The second ring turns on when the, H, when the hard drive is being accessed. And the last ring will turn on when the lights are on. And these three are going to be temperature gauges. Uh, but they're not up yet. They're going to be measuring the temperature of the water and different parts of the system. So everything, most of the parts are up on it already. Finishing gluing the radiator for the back. So we'll just start some benchmarking. I'm not going to be using fraps because uh, I could be losing some some actual benchmarking information. So first thing is disk bench, and this will figure out the read write of the hard drive. And right now we're going to write a 3.5 gig file to the hard drive. See how long it takes and what the read and what the write speed is. And the right speed is, as you can see, it's creating it here. It's a little disk file. And 3.5 gig file takes. Sorry about that, but uh, final specs, this thing isn't focusing in, and it's writing it at 1.5 megabytes a second, which is what's expected of the drive, and read, which can sometimes be, well, most of the times it's a lot more important when you're loading up a game. I'm gonna be reading a TF2 file from the Steam folder, and give me a second, let me get to it. This is the, uh, the TF2, content file and uh, this is about 3.8 gigs so let's see and wow it says 825 megabytes a second I know that it's rated for 400 I've never seen it hit 800 before so that could be a small error let's run it again wow it has to be located in the RAM or something because it cannot be that fast so let's just jump into another file quickly. The last one said 2,600 megabytes a second. All right, so it seems to be getting around 600 megabytes a second. I know it's rated for 400. This seems to be a little bit too fast. And then the next one. Are... All right, so now it's time for Fuzzmark. This is a pretty good program. It essentially just uh, makes a giant fuzzy donut and benchmarks the video cards. And they're going to do that 40 for 45 seconds, and let's see what the uh, what's the resolution that we can be getting and the frames per second. All right, so right now it's averaging 140 frames per second, and the temperatures are 87 and 70, and they're climbing. I know the card can support 101, so without a problem, I'm not going to try to get anywhere near that though. And current frames is 150 a second, and it's averaging 160. So the average is, it's moving up and down a little bit right now, 165. Fans are kicking on, this is really getting near higher temperatures, 96 and 81, 97, 81. And here we go. You can see the, uh, Thanks to the EVGA Precision, we maxed out at 97 and 77, and yeah, full 100% CPU usage on both, or GPU usage on both of them, and yeah. And so this is program's actually gonna be used to overclock it later on once I get the water cooling in, but at least this is some good uh, benchmarking software to figure out where I'm at right now and what I can possibly get to. So, 
it says here max uh, minimum frames per second 97 max 233 average 166 so everything seems to be doing good and hopefully more videos on the way